the local governance expert, Dr. Eric Odroose, has called for the establishment of an institution to mobilize people to go out and vote during national elections. He believes that the initiative will improve turnouts at district level elections since these elections political parties are not involved in. He spoke on the AM show. Um, you, you would see that when it comes to elections, um, you need an institution to mobilize people to come out to vote. That institution is missing at the local government level because of the absence of political parties. NCC can do their part by doing civic education. EC can do their part by doing voter education. But which institution is responsible for bringing the people out to go and vote? People will not come out naturally to vote. You know? So that is the missing link. And that's the more reason why we're going to go for the referendum and then it was suspended. That notwithstanding, people must understand that you should take part in local level elections because you are going to elect leaders who will determine your fate, your development needs for the next four years. And that is the beginning of a long cycle because if you elect your unit committee members, you elect your assembly member, next year you go and elect your MP, and then you elect the president. These are the four critical people who should bring development to you. So that if you fail to take part in this year's local level elections, you have done a great disservice to yourself because somebody will go and elect a leader for you. Again, people must understand that at the local level election, it's first past the post. It is not 50 plus one. So maybe if you fail to vote, your one would help the people elect a bad leader. So you need to go out there to add your one to it so we can have good leaders. And you see, the, 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 the opportunity we've missed is that we've missed an opportunity to quality assure the process to mm. get good mm. leaders. Mm. Because as, as it stands now, mm. anybody at all can come up. But if you were to interest the political party, you could have quality assured the process mm. and make sure that the people they put up have some level of competence to bring development. Aside from that, we could have managed these challenges we claim we have at the national level using the local level systems to balance them to balance it because if you have uh, checks and balances in the system what do you mean by that we're just balancing emotions yeah we, we are balancing <laughs> emotions but what i'm saying is that at the local government level for instance if you think there are uh, a lot of acrimonious things happen at the national level at the local government level if we are able to devise a means of resolving it in an electoral area we can up it to the regional level and then up it to the national level gradually. We will find the solution to it. And then you see, one thing that we've also missed is the accountability bit. <laughs> because now it will become extremely difficult to hold people accountable. You hold an individual accountable, you don't hold a political party accountable. But if you were to introduce political parties, what was going to happen is that in as much as you hold the individual accountable, the political parties may also feel guilty that their candidate is not performing. In that case, they will always make sure that the candidate is performing. You know, so we've missed an opportunity to even amend our constitution for the first time, the entrenched, entrenched provision, for the very, very, very <laughs> first time. And you have a CRC report sitting on the shelf, we are not implementing. If we have an opportunity to commence implementation, to even reduce the powers of the executive, for me, we have lost a lot of opportunities. And I think in future, we should not allow that to happen to us again. Sorry. In future, we should not allow that to happen to us again. We should never allow that to happen to us again, as, mm. as, as a country. Because... Yeah. The, 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 the executive has so much powers, and the executive provision in the constitution is entrenched. So if you have an entrenched provision like this, and it is difficult to even uh, amend it and reduce it, and you have an opportunity to reduce the powers, then what are you going to do? So uh, for me, I think, I think it's a lost opportunity. But that notwithstanding, our campaign should be that we are going for a triple, one has dropped, now we have a double. The double is also important. Because we need good local level leaders mm -hmm. to be able to bring development. So go out there and vote for assembly members. And staying with the elections, Richard Kojonyako joins us from the central region. Richard, good morning. Good morning. So you reported to us this morning that people were refusing um, to turn up to vote. And there was also the burning of tires and some activity. Has <coughs> that settled down? Are people turning up to vote now? What's the situation? Nothing much, uh, much has changed. Um, it's still ongoing. The burning of ties um, is still ongoing. The people are still agitating because um, they do not want the EC officials to get to the community uh, to even mount their equipment to start the process. And so as we speak, the EC officials have not been able to get to the community to um, start the process. So uh, there is no voting ongoing at the moment as they confirm that. Why don't they want the EC officials to come into the area? No, they, they do not want them to because they have stated their reasons that um, from 
Um, for some time now, the politicians have been coming to uh, the area to campaign, and then they become very important during the campaign season. They, and then they become less important after uh, the campaign and the voting is over, and they do not want anything of that sort uh, to happen. So they state that uh, they are using this uh, particular exercise as the comedy, and then the premiering of whatever they want to do would be in the 2020, where they will prevent the political actors from getting to the community and campaigning. And they will also abstain from voting in that particular um, uh, national exercise. Right. Um, are we, do we know if there's any police or security presence in the area? Not, um, I, I've not seen a lot of the police um, um, personnel here. I've only cited two of the police uh, personnel that are here. But um, they are only here um, man in the place. They, they are not really in any confrontation with the people that are doing that one because this has gone on. Um, since, um, since 3 a.m. that it started burning the ties. And so that's what has been happening. If you go to the Ewutu constituency, uh, Confucian wrote that uh, particular constituency because 10 out of the 34 uh, polling stations that are in that particular constituency, um, the, the unit committee members could not find their names in the voter register. And so uh, they started agitating, but now they are in a meeting with the EC officials to help rectify that um, uh, mistake or the anomaly uh, that, that came up this morning. Well, thank you very much for that report, Richard Kojanyaku, from the Central Region. We're going over to the Volta Region now, where Ivy Setoji joins us. Good morning, Ivy. Yeah, good morning. Ivy, so what's going on in uh, your, uh, at your side of town? Yes, yeah, so uh, there's no turnout in most of the electoral areas. Uh, those that have been so far uh, in the Keta, uh, Angoga, Kepi South, those areas, uh, they have been low turnout right from the beginning. Uh, also, uh, in so called the local electoral area, uh, also, uh, there is also low turnout. The EC officials are saying they are hoping that uh, by the end of the day, the uh, people will come out in their numbers to vote. For now, uh, there have not been any reported incidents so far. Uh, everything uh, is going on well, except the low turnout uh, of, of voting. Do you have any idea what is contributing to this low turnout? Uh, well, uh, according to some EC officials who wanted to state on uh, anonymity, uh, they are saying that people, uh, they, they, they told the, them that they are tired of voting and that this one is not important. I think with some of the residents earlier also who said uh, they don't think this is necessary. And some of them uh, also said they, they were not uh, aware about today's election. Uh, and some other people said they are busy and so they cannot go to uh, their polling station uh, with money, uh, according to them. So, forth. so uh, these are some of the issues uh, resulting to the low term. Right, Ivy, thank you very much for that report. We're moving on to the Upper West region where Rafiq Salam joins us. Rafiq, good morning. Good morning. Rafiq, what's going on where you are? Um, the elections uh, were scheduled to stick that in the Upper West region. Um, uh, around uh, 7 o'clock, but I can report to you that uh, before 7 o'clock, uh, the electoral officers and then also uh, the materials talking for the elections uh, has already arrived. But in some of the places, they seem to have a lot of uh, difficulty uh, uh, in, in, in using the biometric uh, voter machine. Uh, because a place like Lima Ivore, uh, which is a heavily populated uh, area, they have about 812 uh, voters on their register, and for close to two hours, they were not able to kickstart uh, voting in that particular uh, electoral uh, area. And so uh, the people there were not really happy about what transpired and uh, for them, and even some of the candidates think that it was a deliberate attempt to disenfranchise uh, some of the people. And, uh, but other areas uh, like uh, um, Kambale and also Nairi, uh, voting uh, started there. And I, I can report to you that 
over 70 people have voted in those electoral areas. But the, the only hiccup that seems to be uh, happening that I was within is at the temporary electoral area. At that place, they have the ballots for the youth committee uh, uh, elections, but they didn't have that of the assembly address. And so voting currently, they uh, couldn't come on. And so the place is in the regional electoral officer, Ali Osman, and he told me that yes, uh, they have, uh, uh, they came to them and then they are trying to add it. And then they have reported on our parents and not to speak now. According to Ali Osman, uh, they are printing the ballots in Accra and they are expected to be elected uh, what today and hopefully tomorrow or tomorrow next that election will take place at Separi. And so in all generally it's peaceful in the upper west region uh, but uh, they seem to be low turnout uh, in some of the, the places. A place like uh, like uh, the Limerick Central Mock where for them election is part of their life. Um, uh, as, at, uh, as at nine o'clock not up to three people are voted in that particular area but you go to other areas like Pongo and also Dundula and other areas, uh, the turnout is not all that high for now. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us, Rafiq Salam. He joined us from the Upper West region. And we're moving to the Western region where Ina Nathalia is joining us. Good morning, Ina. Good morning. How is it going in the Western region this morning? The Western region, it has been peaceful for the centers I have visited, but it's just been a low turnout. I've been to about 10 centers this morning, and this has been a low turnout throughout. And it's basically the males coming out, the females are not coming out in their numbers. And then also there is an issue of um, provision for persons with disability. So the EC couldn't provide any um, support for persons with disability. So that way they can vote on their own. So these are the major problems that um, you are facing this morning. But how is it that there are more women turning out than men? Is there a particular reason for that? No, I said there are more men turning out than women. Right, okay. Do we know why this is happening? Well, I cannot tell now. Uh, the women that I've met, they have declined to comment on why there is a low turnout. Okay, all right, Inathalia, thank you very much for that. We will be bringing you more updates as the day progresses and the election progresses as well.